Right, all right, all right. What's happening in the world of personal finance this week? In this video, I'm going to share with you what we know about the stimulus um, update, stimulus package uh, that could impact us tremendously as drivers looking for that $600 a week in uh, extra unemployment payments. I'm also going to share with you how I discovered that I can get an extra 20 weeks. You can too. I'll show you what I learned. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. Drinking a little. Mm. Just love that coffee in the morning. So it's 1020 on Friday. Normally I do this video on Saturday, but um, tomorrow I'm heading off to Z Watanejo, Mexico. Made famous for me uh, being a lover, as all people should be, of the Shawshank Redemption. Right, that's where Andy Dufresne and Red end up going uh, at the end of the movie. I'm gonna be on the beach in Zihuataneo pretty darn soon. All right, let's get into this. Number one, stimulus update. Well, we've had kind of this whipsaw, right? At the beginning of the week, President Trump said, no more stimulus talks. And then a few hours later, he said, okay, now he's open to having the stimulus talks. So they're talking. And it certainly seems like it makes political sense for both sides to put something together since so many Americans are hurting. So we can see here on CNBC with mixed messages on, on another stimulus package, here are the relief measures we can count on. And basically the article says there's not much we can count on for sure. Um, this is interesting, falling behind. So you can see the uh, delinquency rate okay for various uh, loans student loan credit card loan auto loan and mortgage loan so uh boy we're not we're not doing great there right um and then uh, facing eviction i found this fascinating uh the dark blue states have uh for example tennessee has 58 percent uh of uh, renters facing uh, eviction uh, but they're not getting evicted because of the moratorium mississippi 55 the highest I saw was West Virginia at 59. Florida's pretty high also at 51%. All right, so that's kind of what's going on. And uh, hopefully uh, by the time you watch this, uh, there's been some announcement about stimulus and, and, and money coming into the pockets of Americans, which would really bolster the economy. Even the Fed uh, chief said, we need more money flushed into the economy. So. Uh, all signs are pointing towards something happening. All we can do is uh, cross our fingers and hope it, hope it uh, actually manifests. All right, number two, unemployment, unemployment. So uh, this morning I was looking and I saw this article and it was about uh, unemployment. And basically, you know, we're all on this program if you're getting unemployment of 26 weeks, that's your basic unemployment. So many people are now past those 26 weeks. And hopefully what's kicked in now is pandemic emergency unemployment compensation. So this is a program which is designed to support those of us impacted by the uh, pandemic and, and gives another 13 extra weeks for all those people that used up their 26 weeks. And personally, I am in the middle of that right now. And I thought, huh, what's gonna happen at the end of that? Then I saw this, the Fed at extension. So after the 26 weeks of regular UI and 13 weeks of PEUC, there's another benefits program called the Federal State Extended Duration Extension. And that covers another 20 weeks of benefits for eligible people. So what I wanted to share with you all is what it takes to qualify for that, because uh, depending on how uh, this economy, you know, goes with the pandemic and how good, you know, who, who knows what's gonna happen with the election, who's gonna be in charge and how they're going to address the pandemic, right? This thing could go on another year, uh, the way we're currently um, dealing with it. So uh, here's what you need to qualify. Have a regular UI claim started on or after May 19th. So for most of us, we started this year in 2020. Used all benefits on your UI claim and the pandemic emergency unemployment compensation. So you've done the 26 weeks and you've done the extra 13 weeks. You do not qualify for a new UI claim in California or any other state. Uh, you meet the UI eligibility requirements and are not disqualified. I don't know what those are, but it would seem like if you've gotten the first two, you're in good shape. And you made enough earnings in the base period of your regular UI claim. It doesn't really say what that is, what the uh, enough earnings is, 
Um, uh, but that would be something you'd want to look into. Yeah. So if you're approaching, if you're approaching the end of your, uh, so you've done your 26 weeks and then you've finished up your 13 weeks and you're like, oh my gosh, you know, this is coming to an end. Check out this program called the Fed Ed Ex uh, Extension and get yourself set up so that you're uh, sure that you can get those extra 20 weeks. Number three, some comments from viewers. All right, so last week I did uh, two videos. Um, one has not been published yet. The, uh, the one that was published was President Trump is sick. Could this impact the stimulus package? And okay, so this is right from the top. Connie Lee, they should give money to all Americans. Everyone is scamming the system. I don't agree, Connie. There are a lot of people out there really hurting and uh, need this money. Um, AJ Williams, nobody cares that you're drinking coffee. You're just wasting our time. Get to the point. All right, AJ, thanks for that real positive message. Uh, and I'm going to drink my coffee. In fact, I love it so much, I'm going to drink a little now. You know, I've been doing these videos for like three, four years, and the coffee uh, stick has been part of it for every single video. It used to be I would be, be drinking the uh, vanilla sweet cream cold brew as a driver. You know, that's how I started my day. And uh, I even recommended it to drivers because uh, you don't have to go to the bathroom as much and it's a little stronger. Uh, and I've just continued it with my work at, at home. I love my coffee. Okay, we want uh, the economy back as it was before. Mike says, I absolutely agree. Uh, Kai. Uh, likes that I take care of my mom, who's got uh, early onset Alzheimer's. Okay, this one was really funny. Mista, I get the feeling Jay's daughter just taught him what the term shade means. Laugh my, laugh my ass off. Um, actually, it was not uh, my daughter. It was uh, one of the uh, commenters said, stop throwing shade on Jay. And I thought, oh, I've heard because I've heard it before and I just never really got it. So yeah, so I fully embraced <laughs> throwing shade. Uh, good. I'm glad that was funny for you too. Uh, follow your dreams. Life is short. All right. Mostly good stuff. And Doug Harrow, they probably won't make it retroactive all the way back to July since we received $300 for five to six weeks. Doug, you're probably correct. I uh, tend to be an optimist and unbelievably uh uh, hopeful for the future. So you're probably right. It'll probably uh, be retroactive to, yeah, five or six weeks after the end of the, the July um, payments. Yeah. Key takeaways. In case you can't tell, I got Mexico. I'm like, I'm like almost out the door. Mexico on my mind. This video is shorter than normal. And uh, I just hit the highlights and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to take three, four days and just disconnect, drink some Patron, uh, uh, go into the water, hopefully it'll rain a little bit, and eat some lobster and just have some good conversations with some great people. So I'm off to Mexico. That's the key takeaway. I will see you next week. Uh, if you have not subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, subscribe. All right. Uh, we do one video every single uh, day. Okay. So you can um, watch a new video every single day. So this is Jay Crater. I want to say thanks for watching. Give this thing a thumbs up. Subscribe. Sign up for notifications. I will see you next week. You'll go ahead and have a great day. Be safe and vote. Go out and vote. Speak your voice. Get your voice. Say it. Say exactly what you want. Who do you want to be for president? Go and vote.